All right. Well, let's see what Jason Bright has to say. Stop messing around with the intercom, smooth skin. Got it. Why can't I? Why? <laughs> I want to mess around with them. I want to talk on the intercom. What an asshole. Here he is. Is the way clear? What is the Great Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Hmm. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The demons are gone. Praise the Creator! And bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. Ah. There is much to be done. The Dirty Troll did a, a, a $2 super chat. Oh, Harlan joined him. Yeah, he did a $2 super chat. And, uh, and says, he loves my New York accent. I don't have a New York accent. Ha ha ha. I live in Connecticut. It's very different from New York. Trust me. So they want me to head to the Repcom basement now. Back the way I fucking just came from. Ugh. What a pain in my ass. Okay. So where'd they go? All the way down to those rockets? <clears throat> That's my guess. Yeah, my I'm from Connecticut, so... I do have an East Coast accent, but it's not New York. New York, they have all those different things of dialect that I don't, I don't say. You know, I know people from New York who talk like that. Do an Irish accent? Why? Why do you want me to do an Irish accent all of a sudden? <laughs> Aye, laddie. Top of the morning to ya. Now say I'm racially insensitive. There you go. Yup. Okay, let's save. I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't remember this at all. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. <clears throat> we will remember you always. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. <laughs> yeah, those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. 
It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. Hmm. You know what's weird is, with the whole Fallout lore, okay, the fact that there's people like this guy, Jason Bright, he's obviously completely radioactive, right? I guess the the the, the plot line is that because of worldwide nuclear war <clears throat> and bombs dropping everywhere, that there's just radioactive fallout everywhere, but somehow some humans manage to survive and turn into these ghoul mutations. Can you imagine living completely radioactive? Like, your skin is peeling off your body and won't regenerate, yet you're still alive and can't die? It's so weird, right? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. So, you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. You really pulled the wool over his eyes. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris. Wow. But it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. What is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. Mm. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. All right, goodbye. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. So I'm supposed to talk to Chris about fixing... Oh. Uh, hey. Hi. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So the Great Journey uses the rockets. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Thank you to Radio Magnet for a super chat. I appreciate that. Okay. So how do I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. We didn't find those yet. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. All right, so we have to do these various things. So how do I get... Oh, by the way, Mark Brennan also did a super chat. He says, my mixtape is fire. Okay. Sure it is. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. <clears throat> so... I guess we'll track these various things down. How, how do we do the igniting agent? Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Give me tips for my current task. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Oh, uh, you can't do it here. All right. What about the other thing? Thrust control modules. All right. Any tips for that? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. I don't know if we do know any junk dealers in the area, do we? Maybe, okay, wait a minute. Wasn't there a traveling vendor who was at Novak? So maybe if we go back to Novak and we talk to that vendor, they would have a better lead, right? All right, well, we're done here for now. What we need to do is leave. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Jeremy Dotson says the thrust control modules can be found in a scrapyard near Novak. I usually talk to the vendor, they'll tell you that. And you're saying the igniting agent is literally those fucking rockets at Novak. The ones that are radioactive in the gift shop room. What on earth? 
Well, let's see if we can figure this out. I guess we go back to Novak and we talk to the to the vendor, right? So only has coffee tip to dollar thirty says being exposed to too much radiation can damage your genome and destroy your chromosomes, which is where your DNA is stored. I know a guy got exposed to 1.7 milrem of radiation and still somehow survived for almost three months. There you go. So basically, it breaks down your your everything, and then you just die because your body decomposes, right? I mean, that's a terrible way to go. <clears throat> yeah, look, there's Novak, and there it is on the map. So let's go to Novak. And see if we can find this. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Only Ice Coffee, for the tip. Well, actually, you know, he goes by I Co Iced Coffee now. So maybe we should just change that to just Iced Coffee. Yeah, he changed his name to Iced Coffee on YouTube. Timbo actually just tipped me a dollar thirty. He said, I'm about halfway into my run on this game, I started day a day after you. I need to get this done before Ratchet and Clank next Friday, which will be my weekend plans for next weekend. All right. Oops. So that is two more dollars total in tips. Thank you, guys. Again, please, guys, if you like the content, please support me with tips today. I really need the help in the short term. Thank you to everyone who has. All right. So we're here in Novak, and it's saying... It's saying that the waypoint's over here. Yeah, they want me to talk to the vendor. I knew it. Here we go. What can I do for you? Oh, wait. It's not her. No, never mind. I thought it was her. No. It's over here. I guess this is it right here? Yeah, it looks like this might be like a scrapyard. See that? A bunch of broken shit. Okay. Let's check this out. You know what I should do? I should re-equip my baseball bat since I am not going to be tossing uh, dynamite anywhere anytime soon. Is this it right here? Yes, Gibson Scrapyard. Okay. There's his dogs, right? He has pet dogs. Basura. And Colmila. Colmilo. <laughs> So should I talk to Gibson? I don't want to walk in and get in trouble. I guess we'll talk to Gibson. Whoa. Is that Gibson? Old Lady Gibson. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Helios won. Wait a minute. Helios was in fucking Returnal. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, Snowcrow wants me to pronounce the name Valle or the word Vallejo. V a l l e j o. If you're pronouncing it in a, in Spanish, it's Vallejo. But some people might say it's Vallejo, but it's not it's Va Vallejo. That's the Spanish pronunciation. Spawn Killers has done a $3.33 super chat to ask if I would go back and play Indigo Prophecy. Maybe one day. I actually heard that they remade it, right? I think they did. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Looking for Rocket Parts Thrust Models. As it so happens, I do have some Thrust Modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. I'm pretty sure I have that, right? Pleasure yep. doing business with you. All right, I got them. So that's done already. That's already done. But what about... These are the DLCs. I guess they want me to go back first. Before I can figure out the next part of the mission. What if I just grab some of the souvenirs? <clears throat> Maybe I can just grab some of the souvenirs from Novak and those will be good. I don't know how many we'll need. Maybe I'll grab like two or three. Hopefully I don't die of radiation. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll give it a shot. 
The dog's names mean trash. Oh, yeah, it's trash in Spanish. Okay. Can I pronounce Colmillo? C O L M I L L O. That should be Colmillo, right? I think. I don't know what it means. All right. Oh, it's trash in Spanish is the dog. Ah. So, that's the hotel. We have to go inside here. This is where the rockets are, right? Ah, I'm stuck. How do you pronounce El Cringe in Spanish? Oh, it's pronounced the way you say your name. Uh, Sith Lord Bob 78 means the same thing. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's save. <clears throat> hey, you came back. Must be doing something right. So those are them. Rocket souvenirs. I got nine. Maybe you need ten. Let me grab one more. Okay, I got ten. No, I got nine. I grabbed the wrong thing. There. All right. Hopefully those. Come that's enough. In. Hopefully they don't make me radioactive. Oh, that's not them. It's not. Then. W oh, wait a minute. Are you saying the radioactive item I need is in that room? Oh, shit, so the thing that's making that room radioactive, what is making the room radioactive? It's in here somewhere. <clears throat> Let's see. Steal that gun? It actually says it's called that gun. Where the hell is it? No, I don't see it. Steel primer box, large pistol. Hold on. I stole that gun. What is that gun? That gun. Ha <laughs> Gives a bonus critical chance. Uses 5.56 millimeter ammo. <laughs> what a name. Okay, then. Okay. Alright, so I guess that's not it. I guess we have to go back and trade in the, what I have, and then we'll come back. We'll have to figure out the other half. Okay. So. That gun. Here we go. Thank you, Beep Gaming, since he's enjoying the stream. I am too. I'm having fun. I love this game. Alright, so. I need to get to the alternate way in, which was right over here, right? You could see the rocket from, from where it was. So where was that manhole cover? Shit. The manhole cover is in view of this rocket. There it is. It's to the right. Over here. Where? It claims now it's over here. There it is. Cool. Ha! <clears throat> uh, 
Timbal says, watch out. You don't want to get the red ring of death. Oh, wait. This isn't the 360. Oh, Ryudo Mastermind says, how's it going? Can I recap major choices until now? Oh, uh, I teamed up with the Powder Gangers. Recruited the... Uh, whoa. They're wearing the spacesuits now. Oh, my God. This is hilarious. What the fuck? They're wearing the spacesuits. Uh, teamed up with the Powder Gangers. Recruited the former sheriff from the prison to become the sheriff of Prim. Uh, kill the Good Springs people with the Powder Gangers, which was a bad choice. Um, met up with Cass. Can't do anything with her yet until we get to the, uh, company, caravan company near New Vegas. We can't do that yet. Uh, you know, went through, nipped in and all of that. Did all that nonsense. Fought a bunch of dogs. Died a million times. And, uh, went to Novak. Revealed to Boone who his wife's, uh killer slash slaver was he got revenge boone joined me and uh then we went as a favor to manny vargas because manny vargas wanted us to get rid of these ghoul guys to tell us more about the information about the guy who, who tried to kill me so we're trying to get rid of these ghoul guys and we're doing all little missions for the ghouls basically so there you go yes i will be doing all the dlcs Matson. yes okay have you found the components we discussed chris do you think it's weird that everyone's in a spacesuit except you. Just saying. Indeed you did. <laughs> and they seem to be in excellent condition. All I need now is the igniting agent we discussed earlier. What about the rocket souvenirs? The stuff inside glows. Yes, that's ah! also 239, all right. And there's enough here to launch the rockets. Nice! I had it. I only needed five. I had ten. The rockets are set to go. Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Oh my god. We have everything we need to launch the rocket. They station. disappeared. The great journey can begin. Head up to the viewing platform. Where's the viewing platform? Uh This way. Gather all. May the creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Where is it? I guess it's up here. We gotta go to the viewing platform. All humans despise us. The Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. How do we do this? I'm trying to do, get up there, but I don't know. This is weird. Up here. Okay. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh-oh. That did not sound good at all. It was like an audio glitch, but it seems like we're okay. I guess we're going all the way up to where we were before. Wait, no, it's telling me to go here? No. I think they do want me to go back up this way. Let's see. Yes. Yep, this is where they wanted me to go. Okay. Oh, I got a couple tips in here. Sorry, I didn't actually see this last one, Only Ice Coffee. So hold on. Only Ice Coffee, first he tipped me thirty. says, Our cells constantly die, new ones are made. Basically what happens is, that person was no longer able to make new cells. So whatever cells he had was all he had left. His skin started to fall off first, and the mucous membrane started to dissolve as well. So yeah, if you can't, if you can't regenerate your cells, that's it. It's the end. That's what's weird about this is, obviously these... Ghouls can't regenerate cells. That's why their bodies are decomposing, yet they live forever. It's like, why are their cells not falling apart, right? <laughs> All right. So, yes, only iced coffee. I got your tip, and my bad that uh, I didn't see it. So, that gets us to $56 tip so far today, everybody. Now, let's save. Okay.
Yeah, they want me to go here. Or do they? Hold on. I think so. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. So now, let me save again. I think I have the ability to fuck them over if I want to. Yeah. So navigation console. You see a bunch of numbers and words on the screen, but none of it really means anything to you. You can either mash the keys or leave the console alone. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> or I can press the launch button. If I press the launch button, they'll go where they want, right? Or if I fuck with it, they'll probably crash. <laughs> what do I want to do here? I wonder, is there, is there a, a better or worse reward? Right? Well, first let's mash and then maybe don't mash. I don't know. Let's see. Well, there you go. Oh! You're not sure what you just did, but it probably isn't good. Oh, I broke it. The terminal is now locked into its new setting. <laughs> uh, well. Hmm. Uh oh. Enough of your news of good works have been passed around the people like you in Novak. I leveled up. So what happened? <laughs> I'm curious where they went. What happened? <clears throat> okay, I don't know. Well. I could again put more into explosives, or I could start working on trying to get lockpick to 75. Fuck it. All right. I'll max it next uh, next time. So I guess they're dead, huh? I'm pretty sure we just killed them. See, I wonder with their, if we had not messed with that, would that have even been successful, right? We don't know. Would they have even been successful? Were they just fucking gone somewhere weird? Because we don't even know where, where they were going. They claimed they were going to some promised land, but where, were they think they, where did they think they were going? Is the question. <clears throat> now, they didn't take Chris with them. Can we go talk to Chris? I wonder. Can we talk to Chris and he'll be like, oh, those bastards live without me. And I went the wrong way. I want to go into the basement. How the fuck do I get back into the basement? This is too fucking confusing. Here we go. Oh, really? Chris will now be in Novak? Ah. Oh.
All right, well, we need to get out of here anyway. Oh, this is the prison. I went the wrong fucking way. I gotta find a way back down to where, uh, the exit is. Food. They lied. Where the fuck is the exit? I've forgotten now. Ugh. I hate this shit. It's too maze-like. The whole fucking game is maze-like. I want to confuse the fuck out of you. This way. Here it is. Hello, Darkness. How are you today? Good to see you. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Trying to get the fuck out of here. the way out. I just want to make sure there's nothing here now, right? Nope, and it's just all the rockets are gone. Okay. Okay. So I guess we go to Novak now and see what happens. Go to Novak. We gotta go back to Novak anyway, because we're supposed to talk to Manny now. Now we're liked in Novak for doing that, actually. <clears throat> okay. What's for dinner? I already said we're gonna have our Italian bake today. Italian bake recipe. It's quite good. I love it. Okay. So here we are. Is that Chris? I think it is. You went to Manny Vargas's room. Leave me alone. That's it? He doesn't say anything else. Where's Manny? Where'd Manny go? Maybe he's on lookout now? We gotta find Manny. Oh, is that him? Just chilling? It is. Oh, no, that's a Novak Settler. Just chilling. So. Find out from Manny Vargas. Here we go. Where is he? Yeah, I think he's on the lookout inside of the uh, dinosaur. Okay. Ah, fuck. I already talked about this earlier. People want to know about the Italian bake. It's rigatoni pasta. It's a combination of tomato paste, crushed Italian tomatoes, beef broth, and other things to make a base. It's uh, fresh parsley and other herbs and spices. Uh, mozzarella cheese and uh, Italian meatballs, but they're actually made of chicken instead of uh, red meat. Yeah, it's all baked into in it like a Pyrex, uh, you know, a Pyrex baking pan. It's good. Okay. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. The ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Now, the man I'm looking for. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. Okay. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Aha. Well, uh, Wolf's Paradox says he has this same shirt from Loot Crate. It used to be shit back in the day. Yeah, you know, back in the day, I used to actually have a partnership with Loot Crate. Where, it was about a two-year partnership where they would send me their crate every month for free. I would unbox it lo uh, in a video and promote their content. The problem was, most of the time it wasn't very good. Just to be honest here. Most of the time the Loot Crate stuff was just not very good. For a Loot Crate subscription that was like $15, $20 a month, there was almost no value in those crates besides maybe the shirt. So if you like the shirt, great. If not, everything else in there was pretty much junk. So it went from like when I first started the Loot Crate partnership, a few people were buying it because they wanted to support me and help me. 
But after the course of like two years, no one wanted to do it anymore because the Loot Crate stuff sucked. So, <laughs> so they ended up basically ending the partnership. And then after that, they went out of business and ended up getting bought up by a totally new company. And now apparently they've completely redesigned everything from the ground up. They're totally different now. So, yeah. Funny how stuff works out, man. Okay. Anyway. So, any idea why they went to Boulder City? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Where is Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Okay. Hope that helps. I owed you. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, see ya. All right, we're now idolized the Novak. We're now for your extensive support and goodwill. You're idolized by the community. So, we're going to try to go to Boulder. Which, if you take a look, it's to the northeast. This is still... We're not still out of Vegas yet. Vegas is way up, you know, up in this area. So, that's next. Now, there's a few things we could do. We could try checking out Helios 1, which is run by the, N, uh, the NCR, and see if they have anything for us. Because there's really nothing else going on there. Um, we could check out the Abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker, but I don't know if you're allowed to do this quest yet. I'm trying to remember when this triggers. Because this is a whole side quest line that takes a while to get through. And I don't remember if you can do it now or not, honestly. I'm not high enough level to do DLCs yet. The recommended level is 10. I mean, I could check out this bunker. I don't know. Hmm. Yes, that's right, Golden Colts. He says, you had to do that huge quest just to have this guy tell you that you got to go half a mile up the road. Yes, that's correct. That's how Fallout works. <laughs> That's exactly how Fallout works. Oh, this is a DLC? Oh, I don't want to do that then. Yeah, I don't want to do the DLC yet. Alright, I guess we're going to head to Boulder then. Or we could check out Helios. Alright, let's go to the Gibson Scrapyard and then maybe go to Helios 1 and see what's up over there. See if the NCR have anything they want to talk about. Because remember, the NCR don't hate us or anything yet. Yeah. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Uh, show me what you have. Oh, what do you know about Helios 1? The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. Hello, Wubak baby. I'm How you doing? I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Huh. Why do they call you Old Lady Gibson? Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. <laughs> I hope you can figure out the rest. <laughs> I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. Alright, what does she have for sale? Maybe I could sell some stuff. Wow, she has 2,376 caps. I I should sell some shit. Let's see here. What stuff don't I need, right? The bladed gauntlet, I don't know if it's any good, honestly. I feel like certain weapons are never going to be good, like the caravan. Oh, I don't need the caravaneer outfit. We can sell that. I feel like the shotgun probably will never be good. I'll probably sell the cowboy repeater now. I don't even need the empty syringes. I grabbed them by accident. Oh, let's see. Sadly, the grenade rifle seems to suck ass. Machete? I'll probably sell the machete. You know, I don't need the baton anymore because I'm going to use the baseball bat. I can get rid of that. The cowboy hat's worth nothing, huh? Oh, because it's zero condition. I'm just going to... I don't need it. Service rifle? The silenced pistol? Nah, it's terrible. Get rid of that. The single shotgun's terrible. I'm probably going to hold on to the spacesuit. I don't think I need the space helmet. But the spacesuit gives you big rad resistance. The space helmet doesn't do shit. So I'll sell that. The stealth boys are worth a good amount. 
that gun. <laughs> Stupid name. The varmint rifle sucks. I'll sell that. I'm only going to hold on to the jumpsuit because it's going to give me bonuses. So let's sell this stuff. Anything else I want to sell? I'm going to see what she has, too. Is there anything I want to buy from her? Uh, The long barrel for the grenade rifle, which increases range. No. Besides the stim packs, she doesn't have anything that I could use. The Magnum is only worth 110. It kind of sucks. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna sell the Magnum and sell the ammo. Perception plus one critical chance plus five. Because of the perception plus one, I'll hold on to that. Charisma and strength plus one, but intelligence minus one. <laughs> yes, who knew? That drinking beer gives you charisma. Of course it does. Right? I think I should probably sell the shotgun too. Because I don't think it's going to do anything. I think it's going to be shitty. Compared to the other stuff. Oh wait. I never wanted that. What about those other rocket souvenirs? Do I have those too? No, they won't let me sell those. Alright. I think we're done. We missed some pretty Pleasure good caps, right? With you. Take care now. Yeah, we did some pretty good... Uh, business right there so right there that's helios one maybe we should go there and see what's going on there anything interesting before we head to boulder all right so ladies and gentlemen uh, shout out to everyone who's chilling with me first of all today thank you to those who supported the stream rob on wheels currently is the top tipper with a ten dollar tip ice coffee was the last tipper we're at 56 dollars in tips now guys i talked about this earlier i'll say it again because we're about roughly we're getting to halfway through the stream um I need your support with tips for the next three weeks, all right? I do. I need your support so I can pay my bills and everything. After that, things will get back to normal because of your support that you're giving me every day on YouTube, all right? But the last four streams I've done have been slow for support. So I really need you to help. If you like this Fallout New Vegas playthrough, please support it. Please tip me on today's stream, all right? I do. I need the help. I don't want to bring it up all day, but I, I, I need to get through these next few weeks with tips. It's only tips that are that are paying my bills right now. Okay, guys? All right. And, like I said earlier on the stream, it is my job to bring that up and talk about it. I don't want people to now start talking about it constantly on the stream and make the whole stream about money, because it's not. I'm here to have fun with games. As a side effect of that, yeah, I have to get through these next few months, or weeks, okay? Okay. Let's continue. Now, who am I talking to? This is a restricted area. State your business. I saw this place in the distance. I wanted to investigate. I need fill, new need food fill belly. You got food? I can't tell whether you're joking or radiation melted part of your brain. But either way, I don't see a good reason to let you through. <laughs> Shouldn't there be more people in this defending a power plant? There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Ah. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Why was the Brotherhood of Steel here to begin with? Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1 maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. Jerk-offs. <laughs> I'd like to go in there. Why would I want to let you do that? I heard my brother is stationed here. It's public property. I'll do as I please, asshole. This is NCR property, and we have guns. <laughs> so you can only do as we please here. And it would please us if you got the hell off our lawn. If I remember correctly, isn't this for a mission later, where if you take control of this, you can then use this to do some kind of a fucking, like, orbital laser and something, and you can fry shit on the map? Or was that Fallout 3? I don't remember. Why are you here not on the front lines? Isn't that more important? I ask myself the same question all the time. But energy is hard to come by around here. Gives you more control over this area than troops ever could. Hell, 
If we lose the dam to the Legion, this little plant may be our last stand. Oh, people are saying, yes, this is it. I remember there's a whole big quest line you have to do here and everything to do that. But I guess we don't have it yet. We have to come back later, I guess. Later. Yeah, I guess we have to come back later on to do that. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to then head to Bold Boulder. That's our next uh, stopping point, so. Come on, Boone. We're off to Boulder. Yeah, I remember. That's like a maze over there in those solar panels. There's a bunch of enemies you have to kill. And then eventually you climb the tower and you enable the thing. And it enables the orbital laser that you can use later on to blow shit up. I remember all that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, good progress today. We finished up the ghoul plot line. We sent them on their merry way in their rockets. Who knows where they ended up. And uh, now, we're heading to Boulder. Okay. Huh. See you later, Hobby Gaming. Thanks for chilling with me for the first half of the stream. I appreciate that. Oh! What was that? Come on. What is going on? Holy shit! Viper leader? Oh yeah! Ragdoll. Fire in the hole! So much for the vipers. Another grenade rifle. Another grenade rifle? This guy in metal armor. <laughs> Where's the third guy? There are three of them, I thought. Oh, oh! <laughs> All the limbs blown the fuck off. I guess I can eat, eat some food now. I'm running a low on dynamite. Uh, Adam Outlaw says the, that gun is referred to as a gun from Fallout 2. It was the .223 where players just referred to the gun as that gun and is modeled after the main character's gun from Blade Runner. Oh. Okay. Certainly didn't know that. Okay. Apparel. For some reason, I had no hat on. I'll put this on for per, uh, perception and critical chance. But now I need to heal. A Brahmin on a stick. Some dirty water. How about some delicious squirrel bits? I love how crunchy they sound. All right, hopefully I get some health back here. Put it on hard, it is. This is on the hardest difficulty right now. This game is set to the absolute hardest difficulty level in the game. That's why I keep blowing myself up and shit. Okay. Cozy Burger says, I actually watched you since 2008. Good to see you back on YouTube. Well, thank you so much, Cozy Burger, for the words of encouragement. Appreciate that. The El Dorado Gas and Service Station. Oh, boy. Can't see shit. It's in here. Oh, some gumdrops. I'll steal those. Mac and cheese. I don't know if cram is supposed to be the equivalent of spam. <laughs> More gumdrops. Time to open a sack. Oh, wow. Magnum rounds in there. Wow, there's a lot of good shit in there, actually. Okay. A gun cabinet. 
Magnum rounds and a, two cowboy repeaters. Oh wow, they're worth 652 each. They must be really good uh, condition. Okay. That gun. <laughs> that gun. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, we're headed towards Boulder. Which direction would that be? Straight. Straight this way, apparently. Let's save up again. Okay, cool. You didn't get a notification today? I'm not surprised. I want to say thanks to everyone who is chilling with me, enjoying Fallout New Vegas today. Good amount of people on the stream. Uh, YouTube itself is not good, very, very uh, foolproof. YouTube has a lot of issues when it comes to people actually getting notifications for when the stream is live and stuff like that. What I would strongly recommend for you, if you want to know when I am playing games, you should follow me on Twitter, at they call me DSP. Uh, I will always post up on Twitter when I'm going live with a, a stream, when I'm uploading videos. That is the best way for you to know. If you are relying solely on YouTube to send out the message, you're probably going to be very disappointed. Rad Scorpion, bro! Shoot the Rad Scorpion, bro! I got crippled. God damn it. He crippled my limp. I hate that. Doctor's bag. There we go. The doctor's bag fixes your limbs. Okay. Poor Jasper. Getting destroyed in the game. The radical rad scorpions, bro. Whoa, nice pop in, bro. Strike, bro. Oh, my. Nice shot. How's Jasper been lately? He's good. Jasper's definitely good. He's uh, he's a, an active little kitty doing silly stuff. Running around the house. <laughs> Empty fucking box, you son of a bitch. It's all well and good, but how do we get into this town? Hmm. Okay. Whoa. Pick the white horse nettle. Okay then, I did. There's a crow. The streets of Boulder. Aren't there like a bunch of fights going on in these streets? I think there are. If I remember correctly. The Bighorn Saloon. Boulder City. I thought Boulder City was in Colorado. Look at that. I guess it was to commemorate those who have died or something? Huh. I guess we'll see what's going on. Let's go in the saloon. Dark. I 
Hi. A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. Tell me about Boulder City. Most of the town is rubble, destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. What can I get you? Does he have anything good? Probably not. Bunch of food. He's a food vendor. All right. What's the concrete used for? The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. That sucks. Yeah, they did Nipton. We know about that one. Where does the concrete come from? Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. What? He's seriously the only guy left in all of the, the Come town? Come back real soon. The whole town's abandoned, huh? Huh. I think he put a core junction on our map. Let's see. There it is. Quarry Junction was to the east of Good Springs. And if you remember, in one of my runs, might have been the first one, I was exploring and I wandered into Quarry Junction and those Death Claws kicked my ass at the beginning of the game. Because I had no idea that it would be like that. Like, why would they put fucking deadly Death Claws right next to the starter town, right? They really tore me limb from limb, I remember. <laughs> okay. So is he really the only guy in town? Flames like they got bombed. <laughs> Seriously. The Battle of Hoover Dam, huh? It fucked them up completely. What the? Well, there's someone there, but let's see what this is first. Anything? What the? A skeleton on the stairs. Multiple skeletons. Whoa. A combat knife? Look at this. Service rifle? Oh! Okay, activate the Ranger Holodisc. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're cut off from the rest of the platoon. There are legionnaires all over the place. There's no chance we can get out of here before they blow the town. We're going to hold off against them as long as we can. If anyone ever gets this, make sure that Private Jeffrey Hui and Corporal Marcus Christensen are commended for their valor and sacrifice. Full of upheld the ideals of the National California Republic with distinction. Ranger Teresa Lutz out. Well, that's sad. They did not make it. Okay. Ooh, also a combat knife. I didn't have that yet, so I got a combat knife now. <clears throat> so they got fucked up. They hold up and they got killed. Damn. Take the hollow disc, it's still on the floor. Can you continue to take it? It says activate. No, you can't take it. You can only activate it. Yeah, I can't grab it. It won't let me. Okay. Well, the rest of the building is empty. Alright, I guess we'll go talk to the person we're supposed to talk to over here. <clears throat> We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were called in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Fuckers. The Great Cons might be something of, uh, have something of mine, a platinum chip. Once the Great Cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Can you negotiate a deal? Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Cons. Hmm. Their leader is a man named Jessup. Oh, I think I remember this we mission. We hear shooting will be coming in. 
but it'll probably be too late for you. Don't worry about me, I can handle myself in a fight, asshole. Good luck. So I think you get a speech challenge, which obviously we're not going to be able to, to pass because I don't have a, any speech at all, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Save up here. Okay. So where is the mission? This way? Oh, it's in actually in here. In the city ruins. You have to go talk to Jessup or whatever. Alright. Did I save? I did, right? Okay. No, I didn't. Well, yeah, we did. We saved right here. We'll save again. Alright, we'll check it out. 